Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. And they say when you find a penny, it's a gift from above. Pennies from heaven and the angels. They've made so many movies and songs about the folklore that it's worked its way into the culture. But when it comes to penny stocks, not all are a gift from the angels. A study by the SEC in 2016 found the average penny stock return was a negative 27% a year, and the vast majority of investors lose money. This shows the distribution of returns for over 200,000 investors, with the red bars representing investors booking a negative return on their penny stocks. In fact, only a third of investors made money with these small cap companies. But penny stocks can make you rich. That distribution clearly shows investors with the high double-digit returns, the, the black bars on the right, and a big segment of 5,000 investors with 100% returns and even higher. But then finding those best penny stocks to buy means knowing how to find them. And one of the best ways to narrow your list is finding the ones the pros are buying. In this video, I'll start by showing you how to create a list of penny stocks to watch and then narrow it down to the best picks. I'll share two factors to watch for in small company stocks and how to find the penny stock recommendations from the pros like Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley. Then I'll reveal seven penny stocks with the highest analyst rating, seven stocks the pros are buying right now. I'll be putting these penny stocks into my paper portfolio on Weeble. I love the stock simulator here for the app. Weeble gives you a million dollars to pay Paper trade. Follow your stocks and the strategies just to see how they work out before committing real money. I use Weeble for a lot of my research as well. You can invest in stocks, cryptocurrencies, and it's recently announced fractional share investing to get started with any amount. Use the link I'll leave in the video description below and you'll get two free shares worth up to $1,000 when you open an account and make your first deposit. You'll get those free shares, a great app for investing, and be supporting the channel, so I appreciate that. We're going to get right into it, but you know I got to send that special shout out to all all you out there in the nation, thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Our first penny stock is also the lowest price at just over a dollar per share. T2 Biosystems, ticker TTOO, with a buy rating from analysts at BTIG, Canaccord, and Learink Partners. The company is a medical diagnostics maker with products to detect blood infections and has two products with FDA clearance that can reduce diagnostics times from days to less than five hours and another product in the process of FDA clearance. More than 11 million people die annually from sepsis and other blood infections, representing $62 billion in healthcare costs. And like much of healthcare, the problem is in that time that it takes to diagnose and treat with blood culture identification, taking more than 48 hours sometimes. But with T2's diagnostic product, a targeted therapy can be created in as little as three to five hours. Revenue grew to $5.2 million in the most recent quarter, three times the last year's prior sales, and is expected up 39% this year to 25 million. The company has just over $33 million in balance sheet cash and a burn rate of about $11 million per quarter, so, so plenty of runway for the sales to keep on growing. Now on that $25 million in sales, shares trade for about 7.5 times the forward sales, which, which is actually pretty cheap for a fast-growing biotech name. And let's see T2 doubling from here with an average price target that's 104% higher than the current price and a high target of $3.50 per share. We've still got six more in our penny stocks list, but I want to walk you through that initial screen that I used for these and then later I'll show you how to narrow your list. So here I am on the Weeble app and it's a great basic screener that you can use to get started. The best part here is that you can save a screen and it's always going to update that and show you the most current picks. This makes it really easy to automate your stock research. And since we're only looking for penny stocks here, I'm going to change this market capitalization and change this to only show stocks with less than $500 million market cap. Now that's going to narrow our list from over 7,500 stocks to just under 3,000 penny stocks. Another great feature here about the Weeble screener is I can filter by analyst rating as well. So narrowing our penny stocks to, to only those with buy or strong buy recommendations. You can see here that narrows our list further to just over 200 stocks. Now last year, sometimes I'll also use one of these technical indicators like an oversold RSI just to find those stocks primed for near term rebound while I wait for the longer term run. And this narrows our list further to a much more manageable 28 stocks to research. I highlighted healthcare software provider CareCloud, ticker MTBC, in a recent video on high return stocks. And it's also one of our top analyst picks with buy ratings from Cantor Fitzgerald, Roth Capital, and Collier Securities. CareCloud is a leader in cloud-based healthcare solutions, including records, patient experience, and revenue management, serving over 40,000 providers in all 50 states. You see, the pandemic unlocked some huge opportunities in healthcare. 
Before last year, there was all kinds of regulations and just bureaucratic red tape. Medical providers really had no incentive to evolve into those cloud-based or the virtual services. But last year forced them to make that shift, and it's opened up a revolution in healthcare that it's going to carry out into the next decade and beyond. The company has booked 44% annual sales growth and 79% EBITDA growth since 2017, and is expecting $137 million in sales this year for as much as 30% sales growth. That means at a $146 million market cap, the shares are trading at a price to sales of just 1.06 times, which I actually had to look twice and double check that because it's unheard of for a growth stock with, with revenue increasing 20 or 30% a year. The upside return for CareCloud to its average price target is 98%, almost doubled the current price, and, and even the low target leaves for a 42% return potential. Five more penny stocks to review, but I wanna take a minute to share what I'm looking for in a good penny stock investment, how to narrow your list. And those of you out there in the nation, you know I'm not about to just drop seven stock picks in your lap. That does nothing for you, and I want you to be able to find these investments on your own and do your own analysis. So there's two core ideas here that I looked for to narrow our list of penny stocks, and then another factor that I used just for this video. First here, it's all about growth and how big the company can become. So I'm going to be looking for companies with a giant addressable market and proven sales growth over the last few years. Now generally, this means sales growth of at least 20% or more over the last couple of years, so, so that's an easy enough to screen for when you're looking for stocks to buy. For that addressable market, that's the size of the potential customer base and management's estimate for what kind of market share they think they can take in the future. And now this information is usually found in a company's financial reports or in the presentations on its investor relations page. For example, researching Fastly, I found it was estimating a $35 billion market for its two segments and a compelling case for taking that market share that that's actually turned into nearly a 200% return on the shares. Now, most of these early stage penny stock companies aren't gonna be profitable yet, but you do wanna see companies that can grow their sales while keeping those costs under control. So you've got at least a pathway to profitability. So now narrowing our list by these two core ideas, I also checked the analyst reports to see who was recommending the shares. And for this video, I homed in on those larger brokerage firms like Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs for the recommendations that, that could actually drive some credibility for investors. $144 million biotech, Imara Inc., ticker IMRA, isn't widely covered, but it does have a strong buy rating from both Morgan Stanley and Citigroup. Imara is a clinical stage biotech developing therapies for rare inherited blood disorders like sickle cell and thalassemic cells. It's currently in phase two trials for its IMR 687 product for three indications and in preclinical for a form of heart failure. And of course, that pipeline is critical for biotech companies because most have little or no revenue until they complete phase three trials and can sell some of those products to drug makers. Now, Amara expects to report interim data on both of its programs in the second half of the year and could start phase three in 2022. So for that, you have to look at a company's cash burn rate and make sure it has enough of that balance sheet flexibility to last that long. This company has a cash and cash equivalents of $75 million at the end of the first quarter with no debt. Now, management estimates full year research and development costs are gonna run no higher than $55 million and, and operational costs could add up to about another 14 million. So it believes the company is gonna have enough cash to last until at least mid 2022 before it needs to go for more funding. Imara has one of the highest return potentials in the group with an average price target of $35 a share, more than four times the current price. And even that low target, would be a 266% return. Vasta Platform, ticker VST, is barely a penny stock at a market cap of $703 million, but, but a buy rating from five of the seven analysts, including Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, and Scotiabank. Vasta is an online educational tool in Brazil with several core and complementary products from core content to teacher training and test preparation. And while the pandemic has eased in the US and other countries, it's only gotten worse in Brazil, with not so much a wave of infections, but a constant run higher. With lack of vaccines or social distancing among the population, it could be years before life returns to some kind of normal, and the probability is that this kind of virtual learning becomes the standard. The annual contract value for its 2021 school year was up 23% to 850 million reals, and is expected as high as 1.4 billion reals for the next calendar year. Vasta added 456 new schools to its client base for 2021 for a total of 4,623 and on an average contract of three and a half years. Now, balance sheet cash of 675 million reals is going to be funding those acquisitions and the growth projects 
and it could potentially be a takeover target itself for a larger international platform. The average price target of $16.78 on Vasta is nearly double the current price, and even the low target is at solid 51% return. We're down to our last three penny stocks, including one with an average target price that is five times the current share price, a five-fold return on your money. But I wanna get your input on this first. How much of your total do you have in penny stocks in your penny stock portfolio? And what percentage of, of all your stocks are in this kind of high risk, high return penny stocks? So scroll down and let me know in the comments below, how much do you have in penny stocks? New Canna, ticker NCNA, is one of the lowest priced stocks on our list at under $3 a share and a strong buy rating from analysts at Oppenheimer, Piper Sandler, and William Blair. NCNA is another clinical stage biotech targeting the $4 billion plus market for nucleoside drugs, which really have a lot of uptake and activation limitations in cancer patients. There are currently 16 FDA-approved drugs in the space serving more than half a million patients a year in North America alone. But the company believes its nucleoside to protide transformation can drive a new era in oncology treatment with a higher response rate that overcomes a lot of those drug resistance in cancer patients. Nucana has several drugs in the pipeline and for different indications. Its Acceleron treatment is furthest along with a phase three trial recruitment set for the second half of the year. It's also planning the phase three initiate study for Nuke 3373 in colorectal cancer and a phase two initiate study for Nuke 7738 in solid tumors in that second half of 2021. The company booked $108 million in balance sheet cash at the end of the March quarter against just 400,000 in long-term debt. So a really solid financial position to develop those drugs. It has worldwide exclusive rights for all its programs, including 659 granted patents and 371 pending applications. And analysts are extremely bullish on the shares here, with an average price target that's more than five times the current price, but a wider margin here between that low and high price. Still though, even the low price target would be a return of 144% on these shares. I've highlighted Resonant, ticker RESN on the channel before, and still like it after a 47% run in the shares. And I'm not alone either, with buy ratings for the company from Needham, Stifle Nicholas, and Benchmark Securities. Resonant is a tech development company designing RF filters for non-mobile devices, uh, licensing its X-Bar and WaveX technology to manufacturers. And with all the talk around 5G mobile, it's easy to forget that the majority of devices are gonna be non-mobile, all those Internet of Things connected devices that, that are also going to need filters. Resonant is on target with a strategic partnership for manufacturing and scheduled to complete its first production volume later this year. Revenue jumped to $1.4 million last quarter, doubled the previous quarter, and a 14-fold increase from the same quarter in 2019, and, and expectations are for it to double again to $7.2 million for this full year. But then at a price-to-sales ratio of 48 times, this is not a cheap stock, but the market for this is huge as that that 5G starts ramping up in the non-mobile devices. The average analyst price target of six and a quarter a share is 81% above the current price. And I like this one at least past that $5 mark. Next here, before I reveal that penny stock investing strategy is a $129 million 360 Digitech, ticker QFIN with a strong buy rating, including buy ratings from Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, and Jefferies. 360 is a digital platform in China connecting financial institutions with borrowers for loan origination, risk management, and servicing. Currently, it's targeting the three and a half trillion renminbi market. That's about $500 billion in consumer finance, micro lending, and small to mid-sized banking. And QFIN is the market leader in originations and has one of the lowest delinquency rates in its part of the market. Loan origination has jumped tenfold over the past four years to $46.5 billion and nearly 31 million cumulative credit lines approved. Now, revenue growth is expected to level out a little here with 9.2% annually this year and next, but, but management expects to be able to leverage that into 22% earnings growth. That is a solid pace for a financial services platform and potentially more upside on a huge market. The average analyst price target for 360 is right around where it's trading at now, but a lot of that is because analysts just haven't updated their targets after a big run in the shares lately. Click on the video to the right for 10 penny stocks under $5 each. 10 more penny stocks to watch that can make you rich. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.